I think some people would freak out. But we have to do this because the animal house is getting renovated. Like there's nowhere else the snakes can go. The main animal house is getting a major upgrade. We're getting brand new enclosures from our friends at customcages.com. All of this is gonna be gone. I don't think it looks bad. Honey, but that's just cause you don't really care if anything matches. My wife's old shoe rack. Customsam.com right there. Vision cages. This is my first big purchase almost 20 years ago. I have been with these cages longer than I've been with you. And they still look wonderful for 20 years. I they just wish everything great. else matched. Where did you get this cabinet from? The old creepy haunted house. So you brought that bad juju here to my wonderful house? I don't think it's bad oh, or haunted. Oh shoot. I love the color in this house. I think it screams reptile. It hasn't had a fresh look in a really long time. In 10 and years. I think it's probably time we switch it up. Look at that light switch. Oh. The problem though is that we can't paint in here with the animals in here. Or fix the cracks in the ceiling and the holes in the walls. Okay, come it's on, look at those, they're falling off. Look at the bugs. See, you wonder look, why look, I look. don't come in here. Look. Which new custom cage are you most excited for? Probably Irwin's. He's currently in a 55 gallon. Irwin's gonna get a brand new four foot tall acrylic cage. So the man is gonna have a view, he's gonna have sunlight, all the snakes are getting more room. Time to get an upgrade. So the animals are gonna have to unfortunately move in our house. Shere Khan and Buddy are probably not going to be thrilled that we're going to have to move them. We have to make sure that the big snakes don't eat my dog Zoe. That would ruin probably our relationship. And make sure none of the animals escape, including the tarantula. Corbin, absolutely not. It's fine. It's no, absolutely not. Yes, it no. is. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, I'm the not. project manager. That's not happening. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You know who you married. The tarantulas are you not coming in married. the house. I'm like really sad. Can you get some last footage of this for people to remember <laughs> how beautiful it is? And don't laugh. Or anything. I'm just laughing at the crooked photo on the wall. We're gonna have to move Carl. That's oh Carl. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. No, I'm no, just... no, don't go. Don't get out of here. That's oh Carl. God. He's our jumping spider. Stay tuned and watch the whole video to see what color we paint this and to watch us move the animals in. Take one last look. The animal house will never look the same. Say goodbye to the neon green walls. So long, walls. Shere Khan, we're packing up, dude. I know, Shere Khan, the fridge was really messy. Removing the dusty plants on the ceiling? Fun fact, these plants were used for decoration in my mom's hair salon in Boise. Oh, wow. Time to say goodbye to the spider-infested foliage. And take a look, Happy even popped up to say hi. What do you think? Anything to say? removing the screws that kept the plants in place, and moving the refrigerator. While I'm moving the fridge and everything, you guys are just having fun in the pool. Thanks for your help, you guys. Cleaning out my creepy haunted cabinet. You know that feeling when you feel like someone's watching you? Look at Buddy, my man. Would you like to come out? Come on out. The first animals I move are the small snakes. Luckily, they're in their vision cages, which I can easily transport in the other tortoise house, temporarily. 20 years later, I'm still impressed with how light and stackable the vision cages are. Okay, Hank, little foot, you have some new friends temporarily. All of our smaller snakes are getting upgraded habitats. Although honestly, I think I'm still gonna keep the vision cages. They're that good. I think this enclosure upgrade is what I'm so excited, probably the most. This is for our corn snake, Toby. You know, people who breed snakes will keep them in plastic containers and it's perfectly normal in the industry, but honestly, I'm excited to give Toby more room. Toby, what are you doing? Your new home is gonna be here soon. Next snake to move is our Samboa Daisy. And of course, I can't forget the plants. This is embarrassing. We can do better than this. And mind you, I just took out some plants and Herman's water, but we need something nicer for sure. I placed Herman in here temporarily while I moved the four foot box I made, which served its purpose. But once again, I need something nicer. Do you see Carl? Carl, no, Carl. I'm not gonna hurt Carl. I'm gonna move Carl to the tortoise house. Here you go, Carl. Oh, Carl. I think Carl just got in my sweatshirt. Carl. Oh my gosh. Next to go is the mix match furniture. My dad and I built the animal house 12 years ago. We haven't made any changes until now. So woke up completely surprised that we got snow. Moving the rest of the animals in the snow is not ideal. We're gonna have to deal with it. We're painting tomorrow. The animals have to get out. They cannot be inside the animal house. Luckily, the snow melted in the afternoon. That's Idaho weather for you. All right, Erwin, take a last look. It will no longer be green. 
your home is staying the same the next few days. You're just gonna have a change of scenery. Oh, there's Zoe. You recognize this? This is your house. Can you let go of me? Let go out. There you go. Gosh, I feel like Irwin goes really well with our Africa getup over here. The next animal to move into the house was Topaz, our blue tongued skink. To be honest, moving the enclosures in the house was probably the biggest pain out of this whole project. Topaz is comfortable with the move and Zoe's curious. Topaz will now temporarily hang out in our living room. I want to say goodbye to the green. For almost 12 years, we've had these beautiful tree frog green walls. Hi, Zoe. This is it. This is like the last time you'll ever see me in here with a bean green. Honey, you act like we're going to tear the building down. We're just painting the wall. <laughs> it's just going to look fresh. How much poop and animal water has been seeped into this astroturf over the last decade? All right, Levi, tomorrow you move into the house. Same with you, snakes. We definitely had to make sure Zoe was locked in the bedroom when we moved these big guys in the house. We put the snakes in their temporary travel crates with locks and heating pads in the house. Next was Happy, our alligator snapping turtle, and Levi, the green iguana. You are the last reptile to be out of the house. Levi, I know it's not ideal, but just for a couple days, okay? The last animals to move were the fish, which I put with Noodle, our side neck turtle in the tortoise house. Last to go was the snapping turtle pool. Then it was time to remove the old flooring. We removed the old drywall tape so we could patch up the walls. It was then time to paint over the green. Goodbye, green. While this was happening, Levi was comfortable under heat lamps in our bathtub. We removed the divider to give Levi twice as much room. Here's a look at the big snake habitat. You can see why we had to move all the animals out of the animal house. Painting is not my strong suit. I'd rather stick with working with animals for a living. We're gonna put you away because we have the big snake sit. Okay, come on. Come on. You made sure you shut that door all the way? Yeah. He has to be more than 60 pounds. Remind me to do a video, an updated weight on this man. Would you be okay with this snake in your house? Oh, I'm struggling today. These guys just feel like dead weight today. I don't think people know this, our floors are naturally heated. So the sun comes in and hits these dark concrete floors and it creates a natural heating mass. So the snakes love it. Who's that? Zoe! Honey, it's okay. It's safer in there. Yeah! So do you think just the scent of Zoe bothering him? I like... think it's interesting to them. If we were to have like a rabbit jumping around here or like a guinea pig jumping around here, they'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It'd be like me smelling pizza. If someone puts a pizza in the oven, I'm like, where is that? I'm happy no one's coming over for dinner. While Shere Khan explored our kitchen, we put new trim around the windows and started putting up the wallpaper. I finally said goodbye to my AstroTurf. Before and after. Wow. The animal house went through a complete transformation. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. New light fixtures. Check out the new Burmese python habitat, complete with new flooring, and the old upstairs iguana habitat. Look at how much space Levi has now. There used to be a wall right here, and now the wall's gone, and now Levi has this whole habitat. My wife picked out the fan, of course she did. Zoe! Hi, honey. Right where Zoe is, that's where our new custom cages are gonna be. We can't wait. But for the animals who can come back in now, that includes Happy, our snapping turtle, Levi the iguana, and our big snakes. Time to move some of the animals back into the animal house. Like Happy, our alligator snapping turtle, who goes outside in the spring and summer. And Zoe's curious as ever. We did have to get Zoe out of the animal house when we moved our big snakes back into their updated home. Do you like these new updates? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. We're gonna get you some new logs for now. Figured you might enjoy it. You look so good with the new wallpaper. So much more space. All these improvements make me so happy. And there's more to come. So much is going on in the main animal house, the big renovation, but I had to do an update on Sonny and Chompers, the two lovebirds. Remember when we first introduced them, they would scatter? They wanted to keep their love affair secret. And now the fact that I could walk in the alligator house, they're comfortable with me seeing them. Chompers is on Sonny's beach. I honestly feel it's time that Chompers and Sonny might be Facebook official. He's talking to her. 
The palm tree's doing good. Everything is good right now. Chomper still enjoys the water hose, even on Sonny's side of the pool. And the two are pretty much inseparable. Feeding the alligators together was a major concern when we introduced them, but honestly, it's been easy. Sonny goes to his side of the pool, and Chompers goes to her side. I feed Sonny first, and then I walk over to Chomper's side. We're also exercising the alligators, making them work for their food. Good boy. Yeah, he is. Come on. Good boy. We'll open up. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on. Until next time.